How you guys doing today? Happen to have a game against Cobalt 013. Found him on my Twitch stream, and teams are teams are definitely interesting. You can tell he's got Gigalith with Garchomp, and you know that has the potential to be Sandforce Chomp. That is something I saw earlier in the stream. Uh, as for mine, I was like, well, I like Mega Sharpedo, and I haven't used Tapu Lele now because everybody's doing that. And then I just had, you know, a few other things on here. I don't feel like I use too often. I'm really liking Assault Vest Kamala lad, so I put that on there. And then Magirna, I was like, you know what, we'll put her on too. And then I was like, you know what, I want to use an offensive C-move. So I just figure I bring Psychic Cat Dog Thing and then Rock Dog Thing. One of them's got a Z-move, I'll let you guys tell which one it is later. Uh, but in the meantime, Mega Sharpedo, really, really, really liking that uh, lately. In fact, I actually got a 6-0 earlier in that stream, which was like, you know what, I'm feeling this thing. This thing is great. <laughs> so... But in terms of our matchups, you know, him having Gigalith and a bunch of other things that I guess kind of, you know, don't really mind the sand being around in the form of Garchomp and Metagross and I think maybe a few others in there, I'm not sure. Uh, Zergatry, one way or another, doesn't matter. But I figured I'd lead off with it because I would quote-unquote threaten him with the Wood Hammer, uh, and then if it wasn't, I could just pivot out of there. But it turns out he doesn't lead with it, he doesn't get a sand up right away. Uh, he actually just opts to, you know, pivot out with Zergatry. I think he noticed that I didn't have any ground types, so he figured that would, you know, pretty much be a safe thing to do and it was I didn't really take too much from the volt switch but I I got to learn that I didn't really get to learn much honestly I'm just kind of assuming at this point that he's scarfed so I get to get the slow pivot out which means I ultimately decide uh, the better matchup in this case and I figure you know I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Sharpedo now I can't get too trigger happy here because he does have a Tapu Fini in the back which is why you know what I decided to go for the psychic things because I figure who's gonna lose their Gigalith on turn uh too, you know, but it turns out this man was willing to risk it. He ended up going for the Stealth Rocks, probably predicting me to choke on that turn and say, you know what, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to go for, you know, the Waterfall. I should have gone for the Waterfall. I really had nothing to lose. I just wanted to get early damage on the top of Finny, but... Uh, I kind of overthought that turn a little bit, I guess, but I get to go for a Waterfall now, and hey, you know what, at least I get another Speed Boost. Um, kind of sucks that he got Rocks Up, even though I did have a Magic Bouncer, and I don't think I have, an, I have any other form of Hazard Control, but at the same time, I don't really think I have too much that's going to be weak to the Stealth Rocks in the first place, so should be okay from here. But he sends out uh, Raquinid, and then, oh my god, I think there was one I fought earlier in the stream that was a completely different side. I think it was like Subtoxic or something like that. And that thing was kind of scary, so I was like, you know what? If it is that kind of thing, and it's not Choice Bandit or whatever, I'm just going to try to hit it as hard as I can right now. I'm just going to go for the Mega Screw It. And a uh, Strong Jaw Boosted Crunch actually doesn't even come relatively close to taking it out. I'm, it's still in the yellow, so I don't call that close whatsoever. But he's able to knock me out with a lunch. No big surprise there. I figured I'd just get damage. Damage if I could. You know, if he tried subbing or whatever, then that was the thing. But yeah, even after Sand barely brings him in there. So uh, I'm going to go to my gear now right now to try to pick it off. And I'm looking at my set. I think this is my uh, Shift Gear set but it turns out that Fleur Cannon can actually miss unfortunately that has happened to me exactly one time now and it was at a point in time where I was up against a Choice Bandit Araquanid and oh my god the liquidation does so much so because I missed it essentially makes Magirna useless in this matchup it has like no more HP to spare and I might as well just sack it to the next thing that comes in but at least I'm able to clean up what Sharpedo you know wasn't able to clean up so I nearly lose two months of this thing which is a little bit more than is necessary especially when I'm you know I'm not in rain and it's not like consecutive mons or what is it you know they're, they're consecutive attacks which means that you know something went wrong along the way there and this thing would have been nice to have against uh, Metagross if it did not have uh, Earthquake if it had Hammer Arm or something of the sort and you know if it was at full HP and Magirna actually did its job I probably would have been able to take one non Earthquake hit from it and then you know maybe shift gear and then gone for like an Aura Sphere or something maybe just an Aura Sphere from there I'm not really sure the point is is I I just end up having to let it die here which is kind of dumb but I'll find another game where I do better stuff with it so I'm realizing that Mega Metagross, now that Sharpedo is gone, is a huge problem. So what I end up having to do right here is I have to go for the Sucker Punch and hope on the off chance that I'm going to do a decent amount of damage with it. And I don't think, I didn't even do half, so that actually really sucked. And I'm just, I'm scrambling for options. So my last option right here is going to be this Espeon, um, which it is HP Fire, but, you know, hyper trained up to that means that this is now officially a speed tie. 
Um, don't think it actually was hyper trained. I'm not 100%, but on paper, it's a thing that I could have done. Uh, but it turns out he ends up missing a meteor mash, which essentially could have mean that I could have won the speed tie there. Anyway, if I had done that, I just got too lazy to bump it up to 100 and then take it in game to hyper train it or whatever it does. You know, I'm not sure if Hex is able to do that, but. If it, if it was, I wasn't looking into it. So, turns out, this is the thing. I think if the name was any kind of giveaway, I actually have a Psychium Z on this thing because I wanted to see how much... Uh, I think I have Psyshock on this. I'm not sure how that plays into uh, with Z moves, but I think it probably just turns into a straight-out special one. So, if that's the case, I think I should just be running straight Psychic at this point. But uh, the, the Zerka Tree is at full, and it turns out, since it wasn't going for an attack before me, it actually wasn't Scarfed. I'm not sure what it was he could have been z move as well now that i think about it it feels like z hypnosis or some shit but i'm just able to knock it out in one shot it doesn't have the strongest defenses but i figured you know i'll pull the trigger on something there's nothing that's really gonna appreciate this hit so i get rid of that thing which means that you know gonna be a little bit of easier time going forward instead of playing around with the possibility of it being scarfed i learned that it wasn't and i wiped it off the face of the earth there but I'm quickly realizing right now that I kind of need to maybe weaken this thing a little bit. And I didn't really know what else to do, so I was like, I'm just fully prepared to sack this thing and then pivot out into something else. I think I I, th I was prepared to pivot out, go into Lele, and start firing off Psychics. But it turns out he's a he's some kind of Whirlpool set. I'm not sure what the deal is with the set. He can't be Whirlpool Toxic because that doesn't work under Misty Terrain. So I was a little confused myself, but I do get a Rock Slide flinch there, was kind of banking on that, was also then again banking on sacrificing this thing in the first place. So hey, free damage is free damage. It goes against my roadmap, but ultimately we will get there as long as uh, you know, Lycan Rock is putting in a couple of Rock Slides, and hey, you know what, that turns out that's two free Rock Slides. Can we get a third flinch? Unfortunately, no, we do not, but I take off half of its HP. Which I'm not sure how much a spec psychic is gonna do to uh, Tapu Fini from full, but I figure as long as I hit one rock slide, that would have been cool. I'm not sure if uh, choice spec psychic and psychic terrain is an Oko on uh, Tapu Fini, or what you know, if I needed like stealth rocks damage or something like that. Maybe magic bounce could have played in there, um, but I got it, and that's ultimately what counts. Again, I'm not sure what the whirlpool was all about there. If someone can inform me if there's a set now that uses uh, Whirlpool. It's a little interesting uh, having a trap and stuff like that, but I couldn't have switched in the first place, so just kind of went along with my plans there. But I'm gonna go for a choice spec psychic right here, gonna knock this thing out, and I think maybe, oh, what is that? His last one happens to be his Garchomp, and I was like, oh shit, does this thing have Iron Head or like Earthquake or, or no, of course it has Earthquake. I was thinking Iron Head or Poison Jab, you know, for fairies, but it turns out he ends up going for an SD. I'm, maybe he was expecting to live the psychic and then kind of retaliate against the rest of my team. But Espeon is faster, and I do have Dazzling Gleam, so I'm not sure what that last turn ended up being about, but uh, that's the game. It was a 2-0. There was a pretty pivotal turn in there with uh, with Metagross missing Meteor Mash. I think that game had the potential to be a lot shorter there, and I probably would have just been straight up swept by it looking at it. All I would have had at that point is like Lycanroc and... Tapu Finny and that that would not have been a great matchup at that point, but that's how game turned out I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did you can leave a like rating comment subscribe to your thing You guys know how that works and uh, I think that should do it for me I still got a few more games from the stream so expect to see those not on any particular schedule Just kind of when they go up. I had some spare time today So I figured I'd get this one up since it's a little shorter. So with that in mind I will see you guys on the next one later